Those cooler temps that we saw last night didn't last long as we got into our afternoon today, seeing much of an increase getting into those 60s, 70s, 80s, and even into those 90s for our afternoon highs here in San Angelo, and then starting to cool down as we went through past sunset and even cooling down. But that afternoon high, once again, 93 as compared to the average of 71. That's actually way closer to that record, only four degrees shy of that record of 97 degrees. And even those lows last night, we saw 52 as compared to that average of 44. That's eight degrees above that average, but these above average temperatures aren't here to stay. We're actually going to be seeing them cool down as we look towards our afternoon tomorrow. But again, I look at our time lapse of our afternoon today. Some of those high clouds through the area and even towards these evening hours, we're still seeing some of those kind of cloudy conditions towards that sky and those current temperatures. We're sitting at 74 degrees. We saw some breezy conditions across our afternoon and those have much decreased right now. We're only seeing those winds out of the west at nine miles per hour in the dew point at 34. Not too humid. Humidity only sitting at 24% actually seeing much of a temperature increase from what we had been seeing yesterday. Earlier this afternoon, we actually saw about a 20 degree increase. As of right now, we're just seeing about 15 to 16 degrees above that what we were seeing at this time yesterday and even seeing a less of a de increase from uh, those southern parts of the Concho Valley, not seeing as much of an increase. And as we look towards our afternoon tomorrow, we're actually going to be seeing those temperatures decrease. So it's going to be a very big change as we do look towards these next 24 hours in these current temperatures across the Concho Valley. Again, all of us, most of us sitting in those 70s, those lower 70s, but some of us sitting in those 60s, upper 60s. We see 66 in Junction, 68 in Menard, as well as Sonora. But then again, the rest of us sitting in those 70s even as we zoom out across the state, still holding on to some of those warmer conditions towards the south, 83 out in Laredo, 78 in San Antonio, 75 in Houston, and even some cool temperatures as we look towards those northern above us towards the north. Amarillo sitting at 49, pretty chilly out there, but then the rest of us sitting in those 60s, 50s as well as those 70s and back here locally for these next 12 hours we're going to start to cool down going into these next couple of hours and see a pretty steep drop as we reach those morning hours getting into those 50s and kind of staying there for a lot of time and actually seeing that forecast for tonight that low going down to 50 and slight winds continuing out of the west at 15 to 20 miles per hour and a couple of clouds throughout the sky and looking towards our afternoon tomorrow those winds shift now out of the north northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour and that's going to drop those temperatures, those cooler winds from the north. It's going to drop us the afternoon high, only reaching those 70s and still seeing some clouds throughout the area and our daily planner as we do look at our Sunday and how we're actually going to be seeing our Sunday plan out. We're seeing as we get towards 10 a.m., seeing those winds start to increase, those temperatures getting into those 50s, look towards noon, getting into those 60s, those winds remaining at what they had been, those clouds decreasing. But as we get towards afternoon and into 2 p.m., those clouds start to increase, seeing those mostly cloudy skies and those temperatures getting into those upper 60s and not increasing too much after we hit 2 p.m., only getting into those 70s. And look ahead as we plan out kind of the rest of our week, again, seeing those cloudy conditions, seeing some isolated showers for our Tuesday, very sparse, but could be seeing some short towards the Concho Valley, clearing for our Wednesday, possible showers for our Thursday, once again, peaking into the Concho Valley, but then again, clearing out, just seeing some kind of cloudy conditions as we look towards our Friday. And again, that seven-day forecast, seeing that 71 as we spring forward tomorrow and seeing those temperatures drop for the rest of the weekend, we see that roller coaster kind of come back for the area.